Welcome to our lecture online. Einstein continued to expand on the idea that you could not tell the difference between being on the Earth and being in a spaceship accelerating at the acceleration due to gravity, g being 9.8 meters per second squared. He said that any experiment done on the Earth would look exactly the same done on the spaceship. But he carried that concept just one step further. He began to think of something that made him realize that light was affected by gravity. Now, we already knew, or at least back then, it was known, based on Newton's law of gravity, that there was a force between any two objects which was equal to the constant g, that's the universal gravitational constant, times the product of the two masses of the two objects that are being attracted to one another due to gravity, divided by the distance between them squared. But the problem lay in this, that if one of the objects, let's say m1 was equal to zero, then the force between the two objects can only be zero by this equation, and therefore, since light did not have any mass, light should not be affected by the force of gravity. So nobody believed him. But he thought about it like this. He said again, if whatever happens on the Earth and whatever happens on a spaceship accelerating at the acceleration due to gravity, then if there's no difference between the experimentation that can be done on the two locations, therefore, whatever happens on the spaceship must also happen on the Earth. The things cannot be different. And so he thought of this. He said, what if you have a spaceship that's accelerating at acceleration due to gravity and you throw a super ball now? Of course, back then they didn't have super balls, but let's just uh, take a super ball because we're familiar with that. Those are those balls that bounce back really easily when you throw them against the wall. Let's say you have two vertical walls in your spaceship. Your spaceship is accelerating at G. And you throw a super ball straight across. Now, because of the acceleration, it's going to look like, just like you do on the Earth, the ball will begin to drop, and the ball will take a path that kind of looks like this. It'll go across the wall, and it's going to go down and down and down more, and eventually hit the ground. And that's due to the acceleration of the spaceship. So let's say we have a similar situation. We have a spaceship that's accelerating, A equals to G, but instead of having two vertical walls, you now have two vertical mirrors opposed to one another. And let's say we have a tiny little window, and we shine a beam of light into the window. The beam of light will, of course, go straight across, bounce off the mirror, start going back in the other direction. But since the spaceship is accelerating upward, by the time the beam of light gets to the other side, since the window is very tiny, the beam of light will strike the mirror just below the hole, not go back out the window, and then the beam will go back this way and back this way. And as the spaceship is accelerating and moving faster and faster and faster, the distance every time the beam comes back across will be a little bit greater, and the beam of light will begin to do something like this, just the same way as the so little super ball will do, of course, since the light moves a lot faster than the ball, it will go back and forth many, many more times, but eventually it will do the same thing as a ball and go back to the bottom. And he said, since this is caused by the gravity, the laws of gravity, and since that's exactly the same as what would happen on the Earth, therefore the light behaves in the exact same way, so the Earth would do exactly, the light would do exactly the same thing if it was going across the gravitational field of the Earth, and therefore would be affected by the gravitational field of the Earth, and the light would therefore bend towards the Earth due to gravity. And he said, therefore, I know that light must be affected by gravity. Of course, nobody believed him. He had a lot of opposition to this idea. People thought he was crazy. There's no way this is possible. But guess what? Who was right in the end? Einstein was correct in the end. Not only that, he told the community, the scientific community, I can prove it to you, and the next video will show you how he actually managed to prove that he was right, he was correct, they did an experiment, and he was absolutely correct. So, stay tuned, and we'll show you what he did.